welcome. Welcome to yoga, stretch, flex, and breathe with the Hadley Senior Center. I'm Edward Golding. With me is Linda Golding, and we're glad to share this exercises with you. Let's start by reaching up four or five times with a big overhead inhale. And then when you bring your arms down, let all the air out. Stretch. Ah. <clears throat> and now let's work on our neck, sitting up straight, right ear to right shoulder stretch. A little more. And now over to the left. Breathe. <clears throat> When you're ready, bring your head back up and now a gentle twist over the right shoulder. And a little more. And now over to the left. <clears throat> and when you're ready, Back to straight ahead, and now we'll do the turtle. Chin comes forward, forward stretch the neck, and then all the way back. Breathe forward, back. One more cycle, and back to starting position. Take a breath, bring your chin way down to stretch the back of your neck. Lower, lower, When you're ready, slowly 
bring your face up, 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 all the way up, gently stretching the neck again, higher, higher. Now make faces, stretching your face. And when you're ready, gently bring your face back down, down, lower, lower. Another stretch to the back of the neck, lower. And when you're ready, we're going to do head circles starting to the left. So head circles to the left. And when you come to the bottom, pause, and now reverse. When you come to the bottom, look up and smile. So now let's do eye exercises. We're try, going to try not to move our head, just our eyes themselves. So we'll start by looking left and right. Eyes go all the way left, and then slow back all the way right, and then back and forth. And the next time you're looking straight ahead, move your eyes up and down. The next time your eyes are down, let's do circles with our eyes. Circles to the left. Eye circles to the left. When you come to the bottom, reverse, eye circles to the right. There's a fly. And when you come to the bottom, look up 
and take a breath. And now we're going to start to work on our shoulders. We usually do freestyle, which means move your shoulders in the way that you feel would be helpful, any way that is comfortable for you. And now when we're ready, we're going to let our arms hang down, get a relaxed position. And now we're going to do five inhale shrugs. So we're going to take a deep breath, raise our shoulders, and then let all the air, air out. one. And now if you bend your elbows and now we'll bring our shoulder blades back as if we're trying to touch them. So inhale back, exhale forward. Two more. So now we'll do some shoulder circles. We'll start by bringing our um, arms back, up, forward, and around. And breathe. When you come to starting position, we'll pause, and now we'll go the other way, forward, up, back, and around. And when you're ready, back to starting position, put your hands on your upper legs, Take a breath. Now inhale, bring the elbows out, fingers come up in front, and stretch your fingers, loosen them up, the wrists. Play with it. And when you're ready, if you weave your fingers together, with a big inhale, bring those palms up towards the ceiling for a great big stretch, a great big one. Open, open the chest, go higher, patiently, patiently. Open. And when you're ready, just float them down. Take a breath. Good. So now we'll work on our hands. Inhale, straighten the arms, bring out the hands, palms up. 
and loosen the fingers. Stretch the arms. And now palms down, same idea. And if you can bring your wrists up, and now we'll stretch the little fingers down, the ring fingers, all the fingers, stretch. It's wonderful for the wrist area. When you're ready, just float them down. Take a breath. Ah, so now we'll do our elbows. Sit up straight, inhale, bring those arms straight out, straight out, stretch. And now up, in, down, and around. When you come to starting position, pause, put your palms down or backwards, and now we go the other way. We'll go down, in, up, and around. And when you're ready, just float your hands down, take a breath. Good. So now we'll work on our wrists. Inhale, bring your arms out again. Make a gentle flipper or a fist. And now we'll go in, up, out, and around with our wrists. When you come to the bottom, we'll reverse, out, up, in, and down. Breathe. And when you're ready, just float them down. Take a breath. Maybe take another breath. Good. So now we're going to stretch our shoulders. Inhale, bring that right arm out and stretch it out. Feel the stretch. Inhale. And now swing it forward past the midline. Forward. Left hand comes up to the upper right arm. Don't twist the hips. Focus on the shoulders. Stretch that right shoulder. Stretch. Breathe.
And when you're ready, float that right one down. Now the other side, inhale, left arm comes way out, stretch forward, right hand comes up, breathe. A little more. And when you're ready, float your way down. Get a comfortable sitting position. We're going to start working on our feet. So sitting up straight. Bring up both feet, wiggle your toes. And now for the ankles. We'll bring the soles of the feet together and apart. And when you're ready, just float them down for a second. And now we'll bring them up again and we'll combine the ankles and the toes and do the ocean waves. You will feel it in your calves. Stretch. Take a breath. Your socks. <laughs> and when you're ready, float them down. Take a breath. In a minute, with support, we're going to start working our way up the right leg. So support that leg with your hands. And now we're going to do ankle circles clockwise with the right foot. And when you come to the bottom of the verse, When you're ready, just float that right foot down. Take a break, take a breath. Very good. So again, we'll support the right leg, and this time we're going to focus on the right knee with clockwise circles. So we're going to go like that. When you come to the bottom of the verse, and when you're ready, float that right one down. 
catch your breath. Okay, so now let's work our way up to the right hip. Again, with support for the leg, we'll bring up that right knee with a big stretch. Slowly, slowly, higher. And now when you're ready, we'll bring it up, out, down, and back. And when you come to starting position, we'll pause. And now we'll go the other way. Instead of up and out, we're going to go out and up. When you're ready, back to starting position. Take a breath, make sure you have a comfortable sitting position. I'm going to get a sip of water. Very good. So now we're going to work on the lift leg with support. We'll start with those ankle clockwise, ankle circle. And when you come to the bottom, we'll reverse. And when you're ready, float or down, take a breath. Okay, ready for the left knee with support. Left knee clockwise. And when you come to the bottom, we'll reverse. And when you're ready, float or down, take a breath. Very good. So now we've gone up the left ankle, the left knee, now the left hip. So again, with support from the hands, bring that left knee up to stretch the hip higher. Higher. And when you're ready, we're going to go up, out, down and back. And when you 
come to starting position, we'll pause. And now with the hip, we'll go the other way. So we'll go out, up, in, and down. And as you can see from watching me and watching uh, Linda, there's different ways to do it. You want to get the general idea and then modify it if you need to, to make it work the best for you. And when you're ready, back to starting position, take a breath. <clears throat> Good. So in a minute, we're going to stand up and um, start with um, tiptoes. Okay, so using the chair, if that's a help to you, if not, don't use it. Get, get comfortable, take a breath. Now we're going to inhale and go up on our tiptoes slowly, hold it, and then slowly come down. And we'll do that at least four times uh, and see how that goes. So inhale up. Exhale down three more times. Try to get higher. And down. Higher. And down. One more regular one like this. Up. Higher. And down. And now we'll go up on tiptoes and try to walk on our tiptoes. If you need the balance, you can hold on to the back of the chair and walk around it. If not, just go up on tiptoes and walk. And walk backwards, forwards, turn around. You can do a little two step. And when you're done, you want to end up at the back end of the mat. I think, Linda, for uh, moving, we should move the chairs out of the way. Too. So let's start with some side stretches. Knees are loose. The right arm comes up. Extend up towards the ceiling. Higher. Extend, extend, extend. And then big stretch to the left, patiently, patiently. A little more. And when you're ready, bring that right arm back up, slowly float it down. Take a breath. Now the other side, left arm comes up, extend over to the right. to the right, 
stretch. And when you're ready, if you float that left hand to the top of your head, knees are still loose, bring the right arm up to meet the left, together or parallel, and stretch them both overhead. And then try to go back a little bit. You can stretch it like this, like this, back, back. Open, open. And when you're ready, slowly float your arms down, take a breath, knees are still loose, and now bring the arms together behind your back and raise them up, stretching the arms and the lower chest, stretch higher, 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 and when you're ready, just floating down, take a breath. Very good. So now we usually do windmills. Uh, I'm going to step back a little bit so we won't run into each other. So standing up straight, knees are loose, arms come straight out, and now gently twist to the right, slowly, slowly, and then slowly back the other way. Set your own pace. Two more cycles. When you're ready, back to starting position, take a breath. So now we're going to stretch the back of the legs, and we'll start by bringing that right leg forward and bending the knee of the right leg. And then the left toes are going to come all the way back. So the toes are touching, but not the heel. And now by bringing the heel down towards the floor, but not quite getting there, you get a nice stretch to the left leg. So the heel comes down towards the floor. If it gets to the floor, then you need to move your foot a little bit farther back. Heel comes down. Breathe. When you're ready, bring that left foot back, catch your breath, 
Now we'll bend that left knee, the right toes come back. Bring that right heel down towards the floor, but not getting there. Stretching back of the right leg. When you're ready, bring that right foot back, catch your breath. And now we're going to do some balance. And um, you may not need the chair, but you may. And um, you want to be careful not to fall down. We're going to bring up the right foot, place it on the left leg and see if we can balance on the left leg. You may go uh, up and down, you may want to hold on, but by taking weight off the right foot, you're stimulating the balance on the left foot. Balance and breathe. And when you're ready, float that right one down, take a breath. Very good. So now we'll bring up the left foot, place it on the right, we'll bend it behind, and now we'll balance on the right foot. Balance and breathe. And when you're ready, just float that left one down. And we're going to be done with the chairs. In a minute, we're going to sit down on the mats and do some floor exercises. And we'll start by bending that right knee, <clears throat> taking our hands to our lower right leg and gently but slowly stretching that right knee up towards our chest. Gently stretching that right knee. A little more. Now the right foot's going to come up and over the left leg, and the right heel is going to come up. And now the left hand is going to come to the right knee, and the right arm is going to lead a twist over the right shoulder. Twist and breathe. In 
put in your ready, float that right hand back, straighten the right leg, bend the left knee, hands come to the lower left leg, and now we'll stretch that left hip as we did the right. Stretch and breathe. And when you're ready, bring up that right foot. I'm sorry, bring up the left foot, bring it over the right leg, and bring the left heel up. Now the right hand grabs the left knee, and the left arm leads the twist over the left shoulder. A little more, a little more twist. A little more. And when you're ready, float that left hand back, straighten the left leg, and very gently turn over into table position. <clears throat> and now we'll do six or seven cat breathing exercises. We inhale, bring our belly down and our face up. <gasps> Exhale, reverse. <sighs> One more. And now if we sit down on our bent legs, and if you can, stretch your arms forward. Let's sit down, get that lower back loosened up, upper thighs lower, lower, lower. And when you're ready, if you walk your fingers forward till you're in table position again. And now very carefully, we're going to go on down on our belly on the mat, forehead on the mat, palms on the mat. Now we're going to bring up our chest into the sphinx position. Sphinx. Higher. Higher. And then people who want to can add the arms outstretched to make the cobra. Cool. Breathe. And when you're ready, float your head down, right cheek on the mat, catch your breath. Very good. So now we're going to work on our left leg. With your right cheek on the mat, bring up the left leg, 
knee straight, flex the ankle, you can rotate the hip, left leg up, move it around. And when you're ready, float that left leg down, take a breath, put your arms down by your side, bend the left knee so the left ankle comes up. See if you can reach back and grab it with your left hand and stretch that left heel upwards. Stretch that left heel towards your back. Stretch. And when you're ready, float that left leg down. Pick up your head, look to the right. Bring your arms back up, hands back up if you like. Take a breath. And now bring up that right leg, knee straight. Flex the ankle. And rotate the hip. Breathe. And when you're ready, float that right one down. Put your arms down by your side. Catch your breath. Bend your right knee so the right ankle comes up. Try to grab it and stretch that right heel up towards your back. Stretch. And when you're ready, float that right foot down very carefully. Roll over onto your right side. Cradle your head. Put the legs straight on the mat. And now bring up the left leg, knee straight. Flex the ankle, rotate the hip. And when you're ready, float that left one down, roll all the way over to so your lying on your left side. Cradle your head, leg straight on the mat. Bring up the right leg, knee straight. Flex the ankle. Rotate the hip. Breathe. And when you're ready, float that right one down, 
carefully roll over onto your back. And just relax for a minute. Very good. So now we're going to work on our legs in this position. Bring up that left leg, knee straight, flex the ankle, rotate the hip. The knee, whatever works for you. But try to keep the legs straight. When you're ready, float that left one down. Take a breath. Now we'll bring up the right leg, knee straight. Flex the ankle. Rotate the hip. Breathe. And now we can float that right one down and we'll bend both knees. Get comfortable. Take a breath. Very good. So we're going to bring up our left heel towards the ceiling and then use our hands to our upper left leg. So left heel comes up, straighten that left leg as much as we can, and then gently bring that left heel up towards our face. Stretch, straighten, breathe, stretch, straighten, Stretch a little more, a little more. And when you're ready, float that left one down and catch your breath. Very good. So now let's bring up the right heel towards the ceiling, straighten the right leg, hands come to the upper right leg, straighten, stretch, Stretch, straighten, breathe, a little more. And when you're ready, float that right one down, breathe. So now we're going to try to bring both knees up at the same time and then try to grab them with our palms while they're up. And then we're going to gently rock from side to side, massaging the lower back. So bring up both knees, grab them with your palms and gently rock from side to side.
And when you're ready, float your feet down, put your head back down, catch your breath. Very good. So with our knees still bent and our feet on the mat, we're going to bring our arms up right overhead, 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 and then use our hands to support the back of our head. And now we're going to bring up our torso, and we're not going to pull with our hands. The hands are just for support. We're going to push with our torso and push with our legs. So when you're ready, push your torso up to look between your knees. See if you can go a little higher. Higher. And if you're ready, slowly, slowly float your way down, catch your breath, uh, arms come down by your side, palms on the mat, and just relax for a few seconds. Very good. So now to finish up, we'll be doing a couple of bridge exercises. We'll start with the low bridge and with a curving motion, bring up your lower back so your midsection is suspended off the mat. It doesn't have to be up too high. But get your, your belly off the mat. It's okay to sway a little bit. You probably feel your stomach muscles working. Breathe. When you're ready, slowly, slowly float your way down. Slowly, starting to touch, and then all the way down. And breathe a little bit. So now we'll finish by doing the high bridge. We'll start just like the low bridge, inhale, bring your midsection up, off the mat, but now repositioning your shoulders if you need to, bring up your belly higher, go up as high as you can and keep breathing higher, open the chest, Higher. 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 And when you're ready, slowly, slowly start your way down. Slowly, maybe you're down to low bridge. Slowly, slowly, starting to touch. All the way down, straighten your legs. 
we'll do a little bit of relaxation, feel good about what you've gotten done. So whenever you're ready, you can lengthen your breath. <clears throat> and then very slowly begin to get up. Take your time. And if you're doing these at home, we hope you have a good day.